All right, YouTube, welcome back. And uh, in the previous episode, we made this uh, teleport frame on the Pet Sim UI series, and uh, we've made the new update frame as well. I'm just gonna make this bigger because why not? Um, uh, so today, next in line, we're gonna make the pet inventory uh, frame right here, as you can see. So. So yeah, we're just going to get right into it. And uh, yeah, so starting off, I'm going to copy this teleport frame. So hit control J. So now I'm gonna turn everything off using this eye icon. And the reason for this is because we're gonna enable this main one and we're just going to control T to transform and we're just going to drag this out make sure we have the same uh, size and with this pattern here it's even yeah, okay I'm just gonna copy this as well so it goes all the way across all right so let me just move this to the side and place this right here so we can see what is going on so I could turn on the this thing I'll put your pets Right here. I'm going to move this to the side. Um, Alright, so this blue thing, I place it right here, and then I'm just, I'm just going to enlarge it. I mean, that's what this is right here, and then we have this thing on the bottom as well. So right here. Right, and we have our X button somewhere right here. Put this up. Forgot to do that. All right, it's fun. So we have the frame, the main frame, basically complete. Um, what is what is this right here? This is the button. Right. Okay. Hold on. Um. Alright, oh, okay, here we go. So, this button is gonna go right here. This is going to be equipped, as you can see. <laughs> and obviously, we have to control C, resize our button. And just place this one right here. Should be fine. And the equip is gonna go right here. All right, so let's make this little tab. So use your rounded right angle tool. We're gonna make a new layer. This one is more round, so we're gonna go for like 15. Uh, so 35. Just go right across like that. And we can take the layer cell, so copy and we can go paste right here. So this goes right here, there we go. We just copy this again, double click, click on uh, this gray color for the search bar. And now we just make this smaller. Boom, place this right here. Oops. All right, let me double click. And for the stroke, I'm gonna lower down to either two or one. You could do one, I guess. And shadow off. All right, so we have that. Um, we can add the text for as well. So let's go for search. Let's go search, actually. I made this bold. Let's see if I can grab the color. Let me just do it myself. All right, I'm just gonna place it right here. Okay, so you see these little squiggly lines? Uh, we. <laughs> We could do that as well, it's very simple. Just make a new layer, go to your brush tool, so hit B on your keyboard, right here, and we could pick on the same color. So hold Alt, and we're just gonna click right here to grab the same color. And up here, we're gonna go for hardness all the way up, opacity and flow all the way up as well. And in your brush settings for spacing, we're just going to drag this down to like one. So now, we could uh, 
we could draw a little shape <laughs> like this okay so with this i'm just going to copy it across so i get a i get the right spacing with these place one here too okay so these are gonna fit just like this all right and this is gonna go down like this i think down and right here all right so that is good uh let's make a new layer lips to this time holds This is where the pet is gonna go, obviously. One pet, uh, there's a little title there, a little text. We could add that. One pet. Let's put it right here. And uh, yeah, there we go. We have our pets frame complete. As you can see, it's, uh, it's very simple. As you can see, it's quite simple. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, if this helps you, leave a like, subscribe if you enjoy the content, and we'll see you guys in the next.